Hey guys, today we're reading Nick Jr.'s Sunny Day Sleepover Surprise. Honey, Rox, and Blair, and her little puppy Doodle. They have snacks. Sunny, Blair, and Rox were wearing pajamas for a sleepover night at the salon. After Doodle rolled their sleeping bags out of the closet, they were ready for a slumber party to begin. Sunny had a special sleepover surprise. She opened a bottle and dabbed a clear liquid onto everyone's hair. Are you sure this works? Rox asked. Her hair didn't look any different. Sunny smiled. Oh, it works, she said. There's just one more thing to add. The dark asked Doodle to turn off the salon lights. Rox gasped. Glow in the dark hair? I can't believe it. Coolest surprise ever, squealed Blair. Definitely one for the style files. Blair checked her schedule to see what was next. You made a schedule for a party? She held up her pillow. Where on the schedule can I find a pillow fight? Girls bopped each other with their pillows. Rose, after the pillow fight, Blair's tummy rumbled. Better get back on the schedule. Snack time! Blair had brought fruit yogurt treats. Rox had a bag of pretzels. Sunny showed everyone a veggie platter she made in the shape of a sun. Doodle chomped on a carrot stick. My favorite! As the girls munched on their snacks, they heard something creak. Doodle jumped behind Sunny. Did you hear that? It's coming from outside. The girls and Doodle followed the sound all the way out to the glam van. The back door of the van was open and creaking on the hinges. Sunny closed it. See, nothing to fear. Blair wasn't convinced, but I shut the door earlier today. I'm sure of it. Back in the salon, Blair checked her schedule again. Teeth brushing is next. She watched as Rox emptied her bag searching for her toothbrush. Rox smiled. I thought I'd brought everything, but I guess not. To either of you have a spare toothbrush, Blair handed one to her friend. Just to be sure, Blair checked her manicure station. Nothing, she sighed. They heard a sound above them. The girls and Doodle went upstairs to check out the noise. They saw that everything, they saw that everything had been tidied up ex except for Sunny's bottle of glow-in-the-dark hair paint. Their mysterious visitor had spilled it all over the floor. They studied the spill. Definitely not a ghost. How can you be sure? Blair asked. Sunny asked Doodle to turn off the light again. Because ghosts don't leave glowing paw prints, she said. I know that whoever did this likes two things. Cleaning up messes and carrots, said Sunny. I have a plan to gear up and go. On the first floor, the girls made a big pile of brushes, bows, and veggies. Sunny rigged a net above the pile and attached a bell to it. If their mysterious visitor tried to clean up the mess or eat the treats, the bell would ring and the net would drop. The trap was set. The girls switched off the lights and hid behind the front desk. They waited and waited, then they heard the bell. They turned on the lights and rushed over to the net. Trapped inside was a bunny. That's the ghost, Doodle barked. Cutest ghost I've ever seen, Sunny said. She's adorable, Blair said. I wonder how she got in there. She must have snuck into the glam van, said Sunny, and then found her way into the salon. Mystery solved. The bunny topped into Rock's arms. She giggled. I think I'll name you Violet. It was time for bed. Everyone got into their sleeping bags. Violet snuggled up with rocks. Best slumber party ever, Sunny said happily as they all drifted off to sleep. End of the video. Click here to subscribe. Hit this button to subscribe. Check the description for more videos. The Toys and More Adventures picture to keep watching more. Share this video with a friend. Still watching, you are a super subscriber. Bye.